Landing on Fan TV, we really should not do that again, ever. Uh, that was probably by far our worst performance we've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what did you think of the match? Well, I mean, that was, I think, the highest in the amount of goals we've ever conceded in any of the Atlanta United match. I mean, this is one of those days where nothing could go wrong or nothing could go right for us. Uh, Almiron, he had an open goal, hits it with his left foot and curves it out to the right. He also hits the post on the PK. Um, our midfield, I wasn't too impressed with either. Uh, I felt, I really, I really felt the absence of Carmona. Yeah, a lot of uh, a lot of fights at the midfield were not won that I felt like could have contributed to our attack. And I think it started with uh, the lineup. Um, yeah, I mean, players where they shouldn't probably be, uh, just out of position. Uh, what did you think of the lineup? Yeah, I'm really curious after this game if Tata tweaks it at all. Um, you know, Almiron... If he has the options. If he has the options, right? Yeah. So, I mean, a lot of people thought that Carrollton or Vasquez might fill in on the left wing yeah. for Barco, but yeah. uh, at the end of the day, they ended up going with starters from last season. And I'm curious after this game if they don't, if they're not comfortable with Gressel in the center instead of being on the left of the right wing for like, really the right wing because he was great with his crosses in last season, right? So I, I would not be surprised if we saw Vasquez maybe or if they actually try and move Nagby up to, the, uh, to that position. But at the same time, if we didn't see any strength at midfield, uh, it makes me wonder what their, what their final decision is. Right. So maybe we do get to see some young U.S. nationals get some time in an MLS, which is what a lot of people have been asking for. Yeah. Which, uh, I mean, I think at home probably is a little bit more apt, and that's probably why he did not start today. I know, it's CC United, so. Yeah, and, and, and that too. And so that will be tough as well because they uh, are known to bunker down, and, uh, you know, so we'll need a team that can break down that type of defense. Uh, so Nagby might be needed in that, that respect uh, in the middle. But uh, do we think that, well, because LGP is going to be out, uh, maybe hopefully not for too long, yeah. but uh, hopefully maybe he's ready for the next match. But uh, this might be a, a huge worry. Our back line is kind of in shambles. Yeah, I mean, Lerunowitz, Parkhurst, they were better in the, uh, the the last half, but at the same time, that was the last half when the right. score was already for Neil, right? right? So, I mean, I think Parkhurst is a must-have in the next game, but I don't know what you decide to do at the uh, to fill in for LGP if he is out. Um, yeah, uh, I'm not too familiar with anyone in the ATL UTD2 that could actually fill in for that need either. Yeah, no, I mean, there's not much by way of that. Uh, it would be maybe Miles Robinson. It might be Franco Escobar. Uh, sliding over and then Zizzo in, so Zizzo wasn't very great in the preseason. Let's be honest. Yeah, like I think on a whole, our whole preseason uh, left a lot to be desired, right? Um, so, in terms of for for next match against DC United uh, at home, so it's probably a little bit more optimistic. Uh, how do you feel about it? Yeah, so I think it's nice that it's a DC United without Bill Hamid. Uh, he had some incredible saves last season whenever we played him. So I'll be curious to see in the Orlando game they play later today if they concede a lot of goals to Orlando and if Bill Hamid's loss is felt. Um, I'll be looking for a better attack. I think what, I think we had some great opportunities, but our finish our just our finishes just weren't weren't good enough. Uh, and I think that yeah, the, our, our back line, especially in the latter part of the first half, which is in shambles. They they had us completely out of position more than often. Um, yeah, it just wasn't great. So I'll look forward to seeing maybe a uh, better defensive effort. Uh, I imagine that Atlanta United will try and focus that uh, during the training this week. Um, but, you know, it's the start of the season. Um, I felt a little nervous, to be honest, just because of the preseason. So I'll look forward to hopefully a, a better showing next week. Absolutely. Um, and so Yamil Assad is making his uh, homecoming, in a sense, now uh, next week. Uh, how do you feel like he's going to be received uh, coming in? I, I really hope that he's well received. I think that he was, I mean, he was the first person that scored a goal for Atlanta United last season, right? And he was a workhorse for the entire attack. I felt like every time you saw the ball on the defensive half um, for the opponent, you would see Emil Assad within 10 feet. Um, so I think he should be, and I really, I think he will be well received. Um, 
If not, I'd be very disappointed with the Atlanta United fan base. Uh, but uh, I don't think they'll disappoint me. Atlanta!